Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Guy, and I wanted to do a quick little video showing you a new product that I just recently checked out. Uh, maybe it'll help you out, and uh, yeah, maybe not. It, <laughs> it turned out to not help me out, but I think it's still interesting and worth showing you guys. If you are a regular watcher of my videos, you know that I have a very common complaint when it comes to watches on metal bracelets and that is a lack of adjustability in the clasp. Uh, more specifically, or generally anyway, it's an issue of having a limited number of micro adjustment holes on the clasp. Some of the more you know, high-end watches or maybe some of the aftermarket bracelets will have ratcheting adjustability systems, uh, but, but the vast majority of these affordable watches like the ones you see on the table here have micro adjustment holes. So I'm going to show you specifically what I'm talking about. I'm going to slide the SKX here off the table. We'll get back to that in a minute. What I'm talking about specifically is on your metal bracelets, you will have a number of holes here and there's a spring bar that you can push out and move the very first link of the bracelet forward and backwards. On this specific bracelet, there's only two holes. You only have two positions of adjustability. The problem is for me on this bracelet, it's difficult to get a very good fit. Now, this is of course my Hamilton khaki field wristwatch in case you didn't notice that already. But uh, if I take a link out and move the micro adjustment hole to the inside position, it's just a little bit tight and you know, vice versa. If I move it to the outside position and put a link back in, uh, it's, it's a little bit loose. Actually, maybe I got that description backwards. But the point is that no matter how I try to configure this bracelet, I can't get a perfect comfortable fit. So I found this product that I wanted to try out. This is called a uh, bracelet clasp extender. And the way it works is you have a set of holes here that you put a spring bar in and it comes with two and you set that into the micro adjustment hole on your clasp on your bracelet and then it gives you four in this case extra micro adjustment holes. So you should have uh, much more leeway in the amount of adjustment you can get out of your stock metal bracelet. The actual piece of hardware itself it's not super high quality it's cheap stamped steel it does have a decent brushed finish it's you know not fantastic quality but they're very very cheap you can get this for i think under eight bucks on amazon they're probably also available on ebay and in other places i got mine off amazon that's where i get most of my stuff uh and i'll put a link down in the video's description area if you're interested in trying one of these out so yeah the way it works again is you open up your bracelet by removing the current uh, end link that is attached to your uh, to your clasp. Now in this case you're going to need a tool. I have a little uh, punch tool that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and separate this and show you guys how this goes together. So once you separate the bracelet from the clasp, uh, you'll have the spring bar that comes with your bracelet and you'll want to you know, keep that handy. And what you should be able to do is just slide this end into your bracelet. But in my case with this one, uh-oh, there's a problem. It does not line up perfectly. If you look at the holes there, here's the hole. Look on the inside edge there, there's the hole for the extender. It does not line up with the hole in the actual bracelet. So what I found out is, unfortunately, this piece is not universal. It won't fit each and every watch bracelet that you have. You're just going to have to experiment with it and order one and see if it works for yours. So in this case, it was a no-go in trying to extend the adjustability of my Hamilton watch bracelet. That was kind of a disappointment. But in theory, you would put one of these spare spring bars in, put it in, and then you would attach the loose end of your bracelet to the opposing end in any one of those holes that you want it to uh, uh, fit into, you know, to get the proper sizing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind you're going to have to do, and it helps if you have one of these, it's uh, just, you know, a standard caliper. When you order the clasp extender, you're going to want to measure the inner 
uh, d d dimensions of, of your clasp. In this case, it's 18 millimeters. So you'll order the 18 millimeter version of the clasp extender. Now, it was again a no-go for this watch. It just didn't work. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. And that is why I had my Seiko SKX here. Um, it will work on this particular Seiko. The problem is I have no use for it on this Seiko. You can see the Seiko already has several five, it looks like, micro adjustment holes already. So I would never need it for this watch. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this watch just to show you guys exactly how it works. So we'll, you know, open it up, separate the uh, bracelet, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how it works. Give me one sec for that. So in this case, we can see that the um, bracelet extender does line up with the holes in the existing Seiko bracelet. Now, once we determine that, yeah, it will actually fit, I found, I, I found that the best way to put this together is first, take one of those extra spring bars that came with it and go ahead and install it on the section that's going to attach to your clasp. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this spring bar into the clasp extender. All right, if we take a close look here, we can see that I've installed the spring bar to the clasp, it's clasp extender like so. That's just gonna, pre-installing it on the extender is just gonna make it easier to get it into your uh, bracelets clasp. So now you'll wanna put it in, you'll line up the spring bars to the outermost holes on your clasp like so. You'll push that spring bar down and attach it to the clasp. All right, so I've ex installed the extender onto the existing bracelet clasp, and you can see it's in there pretty good. It's, it's you know, not coming out. Uh, the, the finishing does match up with my existing clasp on the Seiko watch pretty well. So it's not like it looks terrible. And again, I would never actually need it for this clasp because it already has so many micro adjustment holes. I just wanna show you an example of exactly how it works. So now from this point, we would just install the loose end of our bracelet into any one of the adjustment holes that is currently in this extender. As you can see, it would just line up like so. So I'll go ahead and take the original spring bar that the uh, that came out of the bracelet and install it into the clasp extender. All right, as you can see, I've attached with the existing spring bar that came out of the bracelet, the loose end of the bracelet into that second hole on the extender. And theoretically, I could move it forward or backwards to make it a little tighter or a little bit looser. Uh, it doesn't affect how the bracelet itself functions. It still functions as, as normal. It just gives you four extra holes of adjustability on your existing bracelet. If you didn't have access to spare links, if it were, say, a little bit too tight, or if you're just like me and you have a bracelet that is difficult to get the proper size because it doesn't have enough micro adjustability built into the existing clasp, you know, this is a decent option. But like I said, the downfall with it, at least in the case of my Hamilton watch, is it just was not compatible. It did not fit the existing bracelet. Uh, so like I said, you're gonna have to just purchase it, check it out and try it yourself and see if it works with the watch that you have. There's, in my estimation, or I'm, you know, if I'm guessing, I bet it's going to be pretty compatible with most Seiko bracelets just because they all have very similar clasps. Uh, but other brands, you know, I'm just not sure. But yeah, it's a cool little, it's a cool little gadget for under 10 bucks. It might be worth trying out if, again, you just need something to add an extra level of adjustability to a, an existing watch that you just can't get quite the right fit on. All right, guys, again, I'll put a link to this product on Amazon down in my notes section uh, below this video if you're looking to buy one, or you, know, you can just Google search uh, watch bracelet clasp extender. I'm sure you can find them online at other, other places as well. Appreciate you tuning in, and uh, I'll have another review video, you know, probably later on this week, maybe early next week. All right, bye.